Okay, so finally we have reached the end of AUC Section 240. Up until this point, we have discussed with management and those charged with governance and others within the entity regarding their policies around preventing fraud and their internal controls and what to do if fraud happens. We have also uh, assessed the risk of material misstatement due to fraud at the entity. We've also responded to those risks by gathering evidence. And we have reported our findings of, uh, after we have reviewed that evidence. So now the question is, how do we document all of the work that we've done and what all needs to be included in the audit file? And that's discussed here in AUC section 240.43 through 46. Okay, so we see here that in accordance with AUC section 315, we are required to include in our audit documentation our understanding of the entity and its environment and the assessment of risk and material statement. And that includes our risk and material statement due to fraud. And as we've discussed before, we're required to have a discussion amongst the engagement team regarding the entity's susceptibility of material misstatement due to fraud. So we need to document our significant decisions we reached around when, when we were performing this discussion. And we also need to include when the discussion occurred and the audit team members who participated in the discussion. We also need to include in our audit documentation the identified and assessed risk and material misstatement due to fraud, both at the financial statement and at the assertion level. So after we've documented our assessment of the risk and material misstatement due to fraud, then we then need to document our responses to the assessed risk and material misstatement due to fraud as required by AUC section 330. And that would include documenting our overall responses to the assessed risk and material misstatement due to fraud at the financial statement level and the nature, timing, and extent of audit procedures and the linkage of those procedures with the risks that we have up here at the assertion level. We also need to document our results of those audit procedures, including those designed to address the risk of management override controls. We also need to include in our audit documentation communications about fraud that we have with management and those charged with governance, regulators, and others. And as we remember, we always have a presumption that there's a risk of material misstatement due to fraud related to revenue recognition. But if somehow we believe that we have overcome this presumption due to certain circumstances of engagement, we should document the reasons for that conclusion. So in summary, this basically outlines the steps we have taken in this entire AUC section 240. And so we're required to document each step from discussing with our engagement team and management those sorts of governance in order to assess the risk of material misstatement due to fraud, then responding to those risks by performing certain tests or obtaining evidence, and then also reporting our findings to management and those charged with governance and regulators and others as we find necessary.